Hello everyone. Today, on to the front brakes. In my quest to get this thing drivable. It's 80 Ford F100. Um, I pulled the caliper off. It's, this wheel was stuck solid. It would not move whatsoever. Um, so, the caliper itself looks pretty new. Um, but, it won't move. Um, I put the C-clamp on it right here. It won't move. So that either means, put it in like this and tightened it. That either means that it's all the way in, it doesn't quite look like it's all the way in, or it's junk. Um, hey, buddy. Um, but check this out. I've never seen this before. I've been working on cars since more, more years than I can count. Check this out. Here's the rear brake pad that goes in the back. See anything funny there? Look at that ridge. Now, how in the world did a ridge like that get here? I'll tell you how, and I didn't know this was possible. This thing was mounted upside down. It's supposed to be like that. So the previous owner somehow got this in, but had it upside down. That must have been some real crappy brakes. I don't know. Um, but this pad shot, I can't reuse it. So I'm going to have to get pads and possibly a caliper. This is supposed to go in like this, like that. And you can see that ridge is making the brake unusable. So this whole, this whole pad needs to be changed. Um, I've got new brake hoses for it. They're being a hassle to get out, as you can imagine, without snapping things off. So I'm working on that. But this caliper, um, I've got the bleeder loose. So when you compress this, flew it ought to squirt out, it ought to be just fine. And it's not. So I think the caliper may need changing too. So it's off to the store for some brake shoes and a caliper. So I've got the uh, driver's, the passenger side off now. The brakes are not upside down on this side. Um, but the caliper, just like the other side, it looks shot. Um, it's real hard to move. I mean, it does move, but it's hard to move. <coughs> this, this caliper is, and by the way, if, if you hear a lot of background noise, it's a lawnmower. This caliper looks bad, um, just like the other side. This hose is clearly bad, like the other side. Um, so I've got the hose, I don't have the caliper. This is really rusty here. <laughs> I haven't seen one this rusty in a while. Um, so I'm gonna have to change the, both calipers, which I didn't plan to do, but that's gonna have to be done. The rotors are okay. Um, plenty of meat on them, but, you know, it, I'm not sure why this is just so, so rusty. It's not typical of a Tennessee truck to be quite this rusty. Um, but in any event, uh, <coughs> I'll order the, the calipers and that'll be the next job. All right, I'm back at it. Uh, working uh, early evening. It's getting dark early here in Tennessee and my day job hasn't been giving me any time at all. So I'm trying to do what I can as quick as I can. I know I haven't given you guys a video update in a while. This is the new caliper. Um, did find it in stock. I had to go to one of those warehouse O'Reilly stores, but did find it in stock. Um, looks like the exact same one, which is good. You can never count on that. Um, so next step is put it in. To put it in, it's real simple. You unhook this for the brake hose. You take this out and you hit this sliding pin with a punch and a hammer and just slide it out. I've already done that here. Um, so I can't really show you that, but I'll show you it more on the other side. Here are the new pads. Not too thrilled with the quality of these really, um, but it is what it is. So I've got right here, the way these go. Is this fits in like this 
into the caliper and this is the part that faces you I'm doing the driver's side and this one this one does not sit in the caliper it sits back here remember I was showing you where the pad was upside down before it just sits right in here right like that yeah it's sitting right in here it's got a slot here and a slot there that it fits up into and then with the caliper having this pad already in it that again faces you remember you just kind of which is really hard holding a phone I'll try to do it you just drop it on remember to have the caliper on the right side the uh, they are different left and right let's see if I can make this work Almost there. There. Okay, that fit in real good. Okay, so you've got this caliper in place there. I mean, that pad, the back pad is in. It's not upside down, which is nice. This one's in, this only goes in one way. In fact, to get the one in upside down, it's really not an easy task. Your next step is to take these two pieces um, which essentially slide in under here, right? Let's see if I can get it on here, right in here. And you're going to actually hit this end with a hammer and punch and slide it in with this spring steel on top of it, like that. Okay. It only goes in one way. It might look a little complex, but it's pretty easy to do. So I've got this thing partially seated. And what you do is you just lightly tap it in. You shouldn't have to slam this thing in. See, I've got a small hammer here and I'm holding it at the top. If you have to slam this thing in, something's wrong. And you're going to push it in until that cut half moon opening is over the bolt hole there then you stop little father little father that looks just a hair more Okay, good. Um, again, I didn't hammer it, slam this, but it's nice and tight. And that's what you want. Then you take this bolt. This is a special bolt. See how it's got a weird, weird head on it. So um, it doesn't bind anything up. You just screw this in and tighten it up. Let's see if I have the right size wrench here to do that. I do, this is a 14 millimeter. And the idea here is not to make this crazy tight. Uh, it's not supposed to be, but it is tight. You don't want this thing coming out. But you don't have to put 80 pounds of torque on this thing either. Okay, that's tight. Okay, caliper is in at this point. Everything's free, spinning freely as it should. If it doesn't, something's amiss. Now comes the brake hose. Now the brake hose, I'm gonna to try to be fast because there's a lot of fluid in the massive cylinder. I don't want it dripping all over the place. So I'm gonna take this out. I think this is also 14. Um, what I'm going to do, and this is super important, is I'm going to use the new bolt and the new copper washers here. Very important to use those. Um, can you get away with using the old ones? I don't recommend it. Can you? Probably, but I don't recommend it. So that's the next task. I'm going to put the phone down because I need to do this quick so I don't make a mess with fluid. Make sure you take that cap out of there before you try to put the new, the new hose in place. Okay, the hose is on. You see the washer there? The brass washer? There's also one underneath. 
make sure that you get both on there. I also use the new bolt um, that came with the caliper. Note the orientation of the brake hose. That's super important. Fords, it only goes on one way. Make sure you get it this way. So this side is done. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get any pressure here. Um, bleed the lines. There's the bleeder. All right. Right there. So I'm gonna see if I can get some pressure out of it. Again, being manual brakes, it's pretty easy to, to bleed them. You just put, hook up the one-man bleeder, as I showed you before, and uh, just press away. You don't even need the engine running. Okay, the bleeder, one-man bleeder's hooked up, one-person bleeder, however you want to say it. It's on the, uh, the, the um, bleeder, bleeder valve, got the wrench already over the hose. I opened up the bleeder valve with the wrench, with the hose attached, pumped a bunch of times, checked the master cylinder, make sure it was full. And you can see we've got, this was about a third full when I started, now it's full. So we're pumping really good. Um, so I'm done with this side. Um, once I'm completed with both sides, I'll do a final bleeding, but for now, this side is done. Um, I'm going to see, now this is still, of course, I haven't tried it with the bleeder closed, but I'm going to see if I get any braking pressure. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got pedal now, that's that's for sure. Uh, let's see how the rotor spins. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. This thing is locked up tight, just like before. That's not good. Um, this is what I was doing before with the other caliper. So what could be the problem here? Um, let's see just how locked up it really is. Well, actually, it's not really that bad. It's, it's probably just rust. Unlike the other caliper, it was frozen tight. Um, this just might be rust. There's also a, a concept called a residual pressure valve, um, which keeps the brakes engaged. Drum and disc brakes have it. Um, but this system, it's only two or three pounds of residual pressure. So I think I'm okay. If I had a drum brake master cylinder on this, it might be a problem. Um, but I do not. So I don't think it's any kind of res residual pressure valve or anything like that. Um, I'm going to put the wheel on it. With the wheel on, it should, should spin a lot better. One more thing to check before you button it all up is make sure you have no leaks. Sometimes... These are tricky and they can just barely leak. And you gotta really inspect it. There's no leaks here, this is super dry. Super dry here, super dry around the bleeder valve. So we're good to go. And my paranoia before about, about this turning was just paranoia. It turns just fine now. It's just, it just was a little rusted in here. So I'm ready to jump over to the other side. I'm gonna try to start it and uh, see if I can Get some brakes, just backing it up. I don't, I don't want to take this out yet. I haven't touched the uh, passenger side, but I think it's working. Um, I haven't started this thing in a long time, so I'm going to prime it and try to fill the bowl up a bit and see if it'll, it'll fire off. Um, if it does, and the belt squeaking, which I know it will. I'm going to try this belt conditioner, see if I can get it to quiet down. I know the belt's a little loose, but tightening an AC belt on one of these is not a simple task to be undertaken when it's about to get dark. All right, let's see if this thing will go. It's got a kill switch under the dash that runs the starter. Weird, because it's not like a momentary switch. It's a full-time on switch. <laughs> Give it a little more 
little gas. Trying to fill that bowl up. All right, that should do it. Let's try that. A little tricky with the foam because of the switch under the dash, but we'll make it work. Okay, it's running. It's running. It's idling for the most part. The belt's squeaking as I expected it to. Well, let's see if I can back up. This is uh, three on the tree. So reverse is all the way up and in. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. And it's got brakes. Oh yeah. It's got brakes. The clutch seems fantastic. expect that okay now it's on fast idle oh yeah the brakes are great well wow, great as great as I can tell sitting here but they work uh, I think I'm getting some pull to the left which I would expect um, given I haven't touched the right side but they're working I'm gonna back it up just a little bit more Definitely, you can tell the, with the way the wheels move when I hit the brakes that I'm going to get a little pull. Um, but this is pretty cool. Um, sounds great. I'm going to put it in neutral now. Hopefully that's neutral. It is. Let it run up against the chocks. And now the belt's not squeaking. I think the reason it's not squeaking is because it's on fast idle. Got the wheels chopped. Three of the four wheels are chopped. It's cold out here. It's in the low 40s, so you expect the chuck to be uh, only open a little bit. I'm going to try screwing this belt dressing on here anyway. Hopefully I don't make a mess of it all over my phone. Like I say, it's not squeaking at the moment, so it's hard to tell it's squeaking. Once it idles down, it'll start squeaking. It always does. But isn't this thing running amazing? Let's see how it sounds at the back. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is going to be a really nice truck. You know, in just a month or so, this is going to be a nice truck. I just haven't had time to play with it. squeak out of the belt. Check that out. How cool is that? All right, so this belt conditioner that I found at an estate sale works. Normally that belt would be screaming. All right. I think that's it for tonight. It's getting dark, um, but I'm super happy. This side brake's done. The rear brakes are done. Um, now I just have to do the uh, passenger side front find the vacuum leak that's making it run for me and take this baby for a ride. So that's coming up soon. Enjoy. Hey everybody, I am back at it again. Uh, this time on the right front, the last area of the braking system to need my attention. It's a beautiful fall day here in Tennessee. Um, 
but I've got to get going on this. I never dreamed that when I got this truck, here I would be a couple of months later and not even driven it yet, but I just haven't had time. Um, so here's the job for this afternoon. I've got a couple of hours, so I need to get this done. This hose is clearly shot. Um, it's got cracks in it, which is a dead giveaway. The ends are rusted on both sides. And most importantly, this brake doesn't operate and it's very, very tight. It does spin, but it's, it's very hard to move. So the caliper is collapsed on it and the caliper is probably seized as well. Um, you see this caliper seen better days. It's quite rusted too. So the caliper's got to come off um, just like I did the other side. This brake hose has to be changed, which means I'm going to have to disconnect the line, which is back here from it. And that is going to be a bear without breaking the line. Um, I may have to use a little bit of heat, but I don't want to use heat on the brake hose. Don't ever do that because they explode. Um, so I'll probably have to cut the brake hose off, heat the line, try to separate it from here, um, and uh, take it from there. It's all back together, all bled. It's the old caliper here. Um, doesn't look that old like the other side. Um, it was probably put in shortly before the vehicle was parked, but because of the bad fluid, probably messed up. Look at this. That says Ford on it. Maybe this is the original caliper and uh, it hasn't been replaced. Geez, I bet it is, because this is such a low mileage truck. Um, that could be the original caliper. That's pretty cool. Which would mean original hose um, and all that. But uh, in any case, it's done. Uh, wheels back on, everything's bled, and now uh, it's time to see if this thing will, will drive. I'm super excited for this.